Hey everyone, Lauren Wild here. Happy new moon in Libra. We are going to be talking about this new moon lunation and what it might be bringing to the table for the next six months. So early this morning at 7.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the sun and the moon came into a complete exaction or a conjunction um, that also came into an alignment with Mars, all right? So if you guys are familiar um, with what that means, uh, it means that there is like a big push, okay? My thing is being very strange. Oh, it says because it's telling people that I started a live video. Thanks, Instagram. Um, so there's quite a few things that I want to talk about that aren't just about the new moon in Libra. Now, the new moon in Libra is really important, but so is the entire month of October, which I'm going to get into a lot more conversation about um, with my coven members. So if you guys are interested in being caught up on... Um, major lunations, major transit. Oh, I'm like having weird connections, of course. Um, Mercury is retrograde. I hate blaming Mercury retrograde for everything, but when it comes to electronics and connections, uh, it's pretty accurate. So um, my point though is that, you know, we get a new moon every month. We get a full moon every month. Um, and a lot of people are now starting to get into astrology and they're like, oh my God, there's six planets retrograde, which um, technically there's five. Um, Chiron is actually not a planet. It's a planetary body, but it's not actually a planet. We'll save that for another time. Um, but today is interesting because the um, Mars has been working its way into a conjunction with the sun for a hot minute. Now the sun is at 13 degrees of Libra, just like the moon and Mars. Um, the actual exaction of the sun and Mars is tomorrow, um, like the exact exact, but um, it is at 13 degrees. So um, this is a big deal because what Libra rules, well Libra rules quite a few things. Um, but you know, a lot of people know Libra for balance and peacemaking and it's pretty and it's glittery. Um, and I'm a Libra, and I can verify that those things are true. Um, I love a good aesthetic. I'm wearing pink glasses, and I have lipstick, and I have earrings, and I have lots of jewelry. And if you know me, then you know that aesthetic is self-care. Um, but Libra also rules the scales. So Libra is about balance, and it's about harmony. Um, Libra also rules the justice system, like literally judgment. The judgment card is ruled by Libra. Um, and it rules social justice. And so... Everybody, well not everybody, but a lot of people like pop astrology tend to believe that Libra just is nice. Libra isn't just nice. Libra can be nice, um, especially when it doesn't know who it is. Libra is strongly reliant upon um, relationships because Libra rules relationships. It's the ruler of the seventh house. It's ruled by Venus, um, which rules marriage, um, committed partnerships, business partnerships, best friends, like very close friends, um, close people, and also open enemies. So um, why this is important is because Libra rules choices, okay? It's the judgment. Gemini is similar in choices, um, but if you are a Libra or if you know a Libra, then indecision is one of the biggest attributes of a Libra. Um, we want both, right? That's why Libras are great alchemists when they learn that I'm <laughs> sorry, it keeps like pausing on me. It keeps saying it's like pausing me because it's trying to make the connection work. So sorry. If I'm just like sitting here and you're like, why are you stop talking? It's because Instagram is telling me to pause. Um, who knows anymore? So um, here's what I think is going to happen is that, you know, we've been working with this concept of decision since 2020. When the North Node moved into Gemini, it started to create duality. It started to create an us and a them very strongly. Um, it started to create the other. Um, and so why all of that is important is because Mars is the planet of action taking and assertion, also bar, um, war. Um, and so to have the sun and the moon with Mars in a conjunction, um, the same day that Pluto stations direct, which just stationed about an hour ago, uh, an hour ago exactly, 
Um, and then we've got Saturn stationing direct this weekend on, let's see, what day is the 10th? On Sunday, we've got Saturn stationing direct. Then we'll have Jupiter the following week on the 18th, as well as Mercury retrograde. Um, and so what that means is that what has felt stuck is going to start to feel like it's moving again. Um, the other thing I will say is major evolution because Pluto has been in a square to Eris, the goddess of discord, um, ever since 2020 started. Okay. And so that's important because of the fact that, you know, Eris is at 24, almost 25 degrees of Aries. Um, and this is an important aspect for us to be able to look at because what we're looking at is a bit of a turning point. Now, um, Eris is a TNO, they're further out, and um, she takes 526 years to make a revolution, so she moves very slow. Pluto takes 248 years to make a revolution, which is going to be really interesting on the 20th of this, this, of this month when we have our full moon Aries lunation at 27 degrees, which is going to square Pluto, and I think give us some sense of what we could be expecting. Um, but a lot of this, because Libra rules justice, is going to be seeing political justice coming to a forefront and having to make some choices. So um, you might recognize at this point that you want to um, let go of some old friendships, especially the last two days with the, with the dark moon. We had the dark moon in Virgo, and then we had the dark moon in the early degrees of Libra yesterday. Um, you might have recognized some major revolutions in friendships or even endings or beginnings in friendships. Um, regardless, something has majorly evolved, okay? Something either died or has majorly evolved because of Pluto's aspect. Um, the other thing that I will say is you may notice that um, a new relationship is coming in. It's an amazing time for really um, going to the depths in a committed partnership. Um, and, you know, especially when Saturn stations direct. Um, now, I'm not like the most pop astrology type person. I have a lot of Scorpio, so depth is really important to me. But I will say some rituals, general rituals would be, um, for this would be a beauty ritual. So Libra is very much ruled by Venus and it's very much aesthetically pleasing. Cleaning your house, um, painting a house that makes you feel more sense of self-care. Libras, we are all about self-care in terms of a good aesthetic. Right? Our hair being the color we want it to be. Our runes being the color we want it to be. Light, bright, and airy, right? But with definitely pops of like dark, dark gothic, like charcoal colors and black. <laughs> um, you know, those are very, those are very. So all of that being said, the other thing that I would say is that you want to take a look at wherever Libra is at 13 degrees in your natal wheel, your natal chart, okay? Um, because that's going to tell you where it's going to manifest. If you are um, in my coven, you'll get a workbook on how to use that as well as a tarot spread and how it might affect you based on your rising sign. Um, and just, you know, if you're interested in that, check it out. It's um, the Wild Hearts Coven on Mighty Networks. We have a lot of fun. We um, are share and then also we gather and um, we gather online. And then this last weekend, we even got to gather some in person. So. Um, I personally feel very full. Um, this lunation is exactly on my Mercury, and um, I feel very and grateful um, for all of the friendships that I've had, but also um, grief, a lot of grief too. You know, grief and gratitude coexist um, because I recognize I have an entirely new life, an entirely new name, an entirely new coven, entirely new uh, like family. <laughs> spiritual family um and it's really good but man was a lot of evolution needed to get here so um i think that this is a powerful time to make an intention about some sort of relationship evolution or death um and then um also a choice that you are making um a brave choice like a courageous choice not not decision this is this lunation is going to push you to make a choice um it's time to make a choice, right? Um, it's also a really amazing time for social justice movements. I, I'm really interested to see where it's going to go. Um, you know, Mercury squared Pluto this weekend, the weekend that um, everything, went, um, everything went down with Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp with the whistleblowers. So I'm gonna share more on that later. 
Um, I want to keep it new moon and Libra oriented. Um, but I will ask you, what needs more balance in your life? Where can you make some brave choices? Um, what steps of action can you take towards justice at this time? And what relationships um, need to be evolved and invested into or released? Okay. All right, y'all. Happy new moon in Libra. And um, I, will, I will catch you guys later. Okay. Bye.